before you denounce yourself from this altar, make sure that there's an altar you are submitted to. Shokti, maupumala, mausugala, you have to be announced somewhere else. There's no vacuum in the spirit. So if I'm going to denounce myself from this altar, but you are not submitted anyway. Uh, there's no altar you are, you are servicing. There's no place where you are sacrificing. This podcast is a platform that 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 is a platform Comment, subscribe, and share. Lena, in podcast ya bazalwane. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm your host, Taban Esti Lamini. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, guys, how much I appreciate you. You know, I, I know Uti, uh, watching the things that you are doing here. It takes money. You buy a time. You buy data. Uh, by the way, uh, yeah, Esti Lamini. Can you please do me this favor? I just mentioned, where are you watching us from? I know we have people from Goma, Eastern Cape, Eastern Cape, Kanjalago, KZN. Which city and the province, where are you watching us from? And again, 19 October, don't forget, something wonderful is coming in the city of Jobek. I'm with a man that I respect, a man that I've known for so many years. Mm. <laughs> mm. The man that I respect, the bishop himself. Bishop. So <laughs> one <laughs> no man, Kapila cool bishop. Good to be here, man. At last. Hey, at last. At last. At last. You know, I've been invited new, I think uh, when I've even forgotten young of my name. Mm. Uh, yeah, yes, you're always busy. But thank you so much for making time. Yeah. Yeah, the Bible says when time is right, <laughs> I the Lord will make it happen. Aish. And I believe this time. Uh, was that time for us to really engage mm. in this platform, mm. Mm. you know, with your with your audience? And um, I'm happy to be here. Thank you so much. Sure. <laughs> Thank, you, <laughs> Thank so much. you so much. Yes, for the yes. sake of a person who is seeing the bishop for the first time, yes, Bishop Kelly. Yes, yes, Who's yes. Bishop Kelly. Oh, Bishop Kelly. Well, I'm an apostle by calling. Mm. Um, I'm a bishop because of what I do with the state. Mm. Um, my my name is Kelly. Uh, Mashudu. Mm. I was born and raised um, in a place called Shandy Main Venda. Mm. And um, I'm now here in Pretoria leading a beautiful, beautiful church called Shiloh Family Church in Amaskral, a place called New Easteras. And um, I'm now an author of one book, but with many books at the background. Yes. Um, but for now, we have this one called The Genesis Effect, The Language of My Scars, mm. When Scars Speaks. Yes. You know, um, so yeah, that's just who I am, mm-hmm. and um, I love the Lord. I'm born again. I am married to one wife for now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for now, <laughs> a, a beautiful woman of God, uh, yes. Pastor Rice Sive. Mm. 
blessed with one daughter. Her name is Andani. Uh, a beautiful soul and a blessing to our family. Mm. Yeah, that's just us. <coughs> that's just us. Yes. As a pastor and a leader in, in mm. ministry, do you have any regrets in ministry? Look, um, I, I, I think you must reach a place of temporary insanity to say yes to the Lord. Uh, this is a difficult phase. Ngegu, you are, you are leading people whom God regretted creating. <laughs> why, why so long? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and these are people you are, you are called to lead. Um, I always say, U, U Moses, one of the mighty leaders of, 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 of the day, you know, he was so humble. But but they tire him, Labantu, mm. uh, that that he saw where they were going. In fact, he had faith enough to to see the promise, but he was too tired to enter into the promise. Mm. Mm. Uh, regrets, um, I don't know, I mm. don't know, but honestly, this is a difficult phase. It's a difficult phase. Um, it's a difficult. You are leading people, God. Mm. What regret? I remember last year, yeah. uh, Bishop, when mm. each and every church they were having celebration of mm. uh, year end function and mm. stuff. Mm. And when uh, you closed the church, yes. Uh, well, um, I felt people were tired. Uh, people were tired. They had to go and rethink. I, I, I feel the saints and the believers must get to a place where. They must stop thinking they're doing us a favor. <laughs> mm. You know, um, it is a calling. Um, you see, Ngegu, we we have we have discussed for many years about Indabayama false prophet and false prophets, but we we never discuss the issue of false believers. And and what I pick up is that um, you have got you have got true prophets <laughs> leading false believers. And you've got false prophets leading true believers. Uh, it's quite strange. Uh, when I say false believing, is is that you 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 speak one thing with your with your mouth, but your action is different. Um, so so I had to close and she has in Hamban Nika again and 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 rest and make a choice to go to You know, what what do you want? And if you want this, then let's do it. Uh, but go home and think. Go home and rest, there's no pressure. Go home and think. When you're now so booked, no, this is what we, 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 need, we need to do. The, the, you know, the, it's also very depressing to lead tired people. Mm. Yeah, mm. I, I mean, if, if you feel good to know people are tired, hey, Baba, <laughs> let them go and rest. Yeah, yeah, let them go and rest. That is just my view of, of ministry. Have you ever received any critics maybe based on that? With how come can you close the church during this time whereby maybe people have to celebrate the air and and, and stuff like that? When uh, it was in the absence of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, so I, I, I hear God for me and um, I, I've got an assignment, which is my assignment. Mm. You know, so so people will always talk um, because they've got mouth, you know, and and it's okay. You 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 listen to them, uh, but you go to your knees. I, mean, I always say, not every counsel advice it's it's good for you. Mm. You know, there are people who who mean well, you know, uh, but it's not it's not within the parameters of your calling. Mm. So I want to call my girl, mama. It's okay, mm. noted, and with thanks. But life, you know, life has to go on. Yeah, we are with Bishop Kelly here. Mm -hmm. Before we get straight to the heart of our uh, conversation, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, maybe now we might have a question based mm -hmm. on what we'll be talking about here. Mm -hmm. Feel free to drop your comments, Bishop. Mm -hmm. Um, we live in a time whereby we have um, different altars. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so. I just want to check and ask, uh, is it possible for my life mm. to be controlled by Om Sam, though I'm no longer belonging in that, in, 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 in that altar? It's a very interesting uh, view, and this is really one of my passionate topics. Mm. You know, the issue of altars, high places, mm. 
you know, because these are realities. There's even a myth now of African spirituality and they're hijacking this matter, which our people knew for years. I mean, I always say that Aban Dubey today know God before even Abelung Bafiga Africa. We knew, we knew him. Um, you know, this is a Christian, um, you know, um, a, a podcast, yes. and I believe in Fundisi. Um, you, you, uh, let's go to scriptures. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let's go to scriptures. Mm. I think it's only right. Uh, it's First Kings chapter nineteen, yes. verse twenty. Imisam, mm. <laughs> altars. Um, can you be born again and still be controlled by by these things? It's a, it's a it's, it's a good question. You know, when you are born again, you are a new creature. You know, uh, all things are gone and you are made new. But the gamalakoge come from the altars. <laughs> so, so what? What is new? <laughs> what? What is new? Uh, and if it's documentary, your name is still there. You are born again. Yeah, in a document. No, all things are made new. Uh, define for me all things. You know. Um, so, First Kings chapter nineteen, verse twenty. Um, I'm going to read here. It's an encounter of Elijah and Elisha, which we all know. Mm -hmm. Verse 20, it reads, And um, and Elisha left left the oxen standing there and ran after Elijah. I want you to, to imagine this. So yeah, who Elisha, he leaves his oxen standing there. He ran after Elijah and, he's, and he said to him, You know, let me, let me, let me go kiss my father and my mother goodbye. <laughs> Let me go and kiss my father and my mother goodbye because I am scared. Should I follow you now before I kiss them goodbye? They might follow me. So, in this case, my view is that who Elisha la. He was talking about the altars of his father and his mother. Mm. This is subject to interpretation, mm. um, but for me, this is an allegory of, of an altar. Mm. Let me go and kiss. Mm. Ubaba, mm. no mama, goodbye, before I follow you. Mm. Uh, and I believe la like, kiss is an allegory, and uma, ubaba, la is an allegory also, the shadow of speech. Mm. So, utu, 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 we, we, we this. before I landela. Let me go ngitu 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 u ku alta yagababa. I get nyabonga, singing yahamba. Let let me go and denounce myself before you announce me into these things. And I I knew all I mean. No, no. I'm just going to kiss them goodbye. Why? Because nyasaba ubamulandi alande loyo. A, a, a follower who is being followed. followed. Mm, so allow me to go to the things that raised me, to the things that named me, and, and say to them, I can yabonga. I found a man outside you. So let me go, uh, Elijah, let me go and, 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 and kiss the altar, Yaga Baba, goodbye. And then from there, I go to the altar, Yaga Ma. Goodbye. I don't then, fight. <laughs> no, 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 no. He, he used the word kiss. Mm. Um, I'm not calling fire from heaven. Uh, I'm going to kiss. Sure. Uh, because this thing that, 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 that I have to leave right now, they raised me to become the man you find. You, you found a man busy with his oxen. Mm. I, I, I hear you. I, I will follow you. Um, listen to your teachings. Mm. Uh, but before I follow you, can I go and denounce uh, the, the altars, Yaga Baba, Yaga Mama? Let me go and kiss my father and my mother goodbye. Then I'll follow you. Maybe someone will ask, like, um, if you say, like, I go and kiss, mm. maybe it might be figuratively speaking. Yes. But how do I denounce myself from my mother's altar and my father's altar? Um... Um, it, it is very important to, we as African people, we know Imisamoye too, we know Amasigowe too, uh, we know our cultures, we know our traditions, we, 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 we know our altars as, as African people. Abanyege, people like myself, you know that Iate Sekaya, it's, it's inside a rendezvous house, it's inside the house. Abanyege is just behind the house. Abanyege is a you know, um, but every African child will know where where the altars are. Mm. So my view is that you have to find them. 
you know, and because some of you here, uh, wait, wait, I mean, mm. uh, the, the 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 name you have, you you got the name from from these altars. Uh, it means and and mausalwa, uh, but you know you cry duakala for for this name, and often this cry is controlled from this place. Yagama or Yagabab. So you 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 have to go there and 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 say to them spirits. Mm. Uh, yeah, you, you you talk to the spirits that controls and manages these altars, that receive the sacrifice. Mm. You to say, um, I I I am here. Uh, this is Utabani, uh, mm. uh, You know, uh, born on on this date. I just come to say to you, I have found. A path. I have found the light, and I am just here to say goodbye. Mm. I strongly recommend if you come alako, because this time you will have known. If you got your name from this art, yeah, leave the name there. It's not yours, <laughs> be, be, because you ha, u, 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 <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, you mm. know. Mm. So you have to 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 go and say goodbye, denounce yourself, you know, and then. Whatever they've given you, which you know they've given you, hmm. whoever names you controls where you go. You hear me? So, so you 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 give them back their things, you know, and 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 then you can follow Jesus. If you don't do that, Abafundis knows this very very well. By they are watching these things. By <laughs> <laughs> my nightmares, I'm a poopo. Sure. And these are encounters. Aish. They can't deny them. We have got Abafundis who are busy going to Sangomas. He's young. Because they are, they are confused. They have no answers. Mm. Because you are following uh, before denouncing what you followed for the best part of your life. Mm. I think it's a very interesting one, Bishop. Because yes. you, um, maybe I would say some of us. Mm -hmm. Even we find that the houses that we have, the yeah. cars that we are driving, yeah. uh, some of us, we find that um, they receive them through that altar. Yes. You know, and the kids that they have, yeah. they maybe club being about to go to the altar and ask yes. for the kids. We, yes. Today we're having those kids. But in yes. that case, again, yeah. how do I live, isn't okay, that are not belonging to the altar it, that I'm going to it, join? It's a very difficult question, Data. A tough question. Um, th this is why you go and kiss. <laughs> because how do you... Uh, and this is the thing with, with Tinaba Salana. We, we love fighting. You, you don't see Christ and, and the devil fighting at the mountain. They're having a conversation. Um, you know, it is written. It's a, it's a, it's a conversation. This thing you only know, Pumani, how many of I I I don't know this at all. You know, you know, you know. Uh, it's for civilians. We are we are commanders. We 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 communicate. Mm. You go and kiss. Mm. Mm. That that word kiss, it's it's an it's an amicable word. Humble your lela. Jesus, you know, with demons in in Gada. By Akulmisan, the demons ask him. There's a kiss there. <laughs> to say, yes, Baba, eh, eh, kata, eh, uh. Jesus, we, we're going to leave this man. We are leaving. We, we are running away. We, we, we hear you, but, but can we kiss? <laughs> and the kiss was a negotiation to say, to say don't, don't, don't take us out of the territory. Mm. And Jesus obliged. Mm. I will say to you, he kissed. Yeah, yeah, but because I mean, I mean, I mean, he 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 did to the demons mm. what what he asked them to do, and this is very deep because I think it's a topic for another podcast mm. uh, to say uh, there are things you get to do, but whatever you do must not contradict scriptures and and doctrine, uh, because we have we have a constitution which is which is the Bible, but we have to avoid ngegu uh, unnecessary battles. No, we have to. We have to. So, yeah. in, in other words, Bishop, if mm. I'm, I'm getting you clearly, mm. you, you, you say that in my my father's altar, mm. uh, maybe when there is in the Zagulelo altar, you say that, Zagulelo altar. Meaning that as a believer, now mm. I'm born again, 
must go and join him what he's doing in order maybe no bizarre no 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 so I, that i can like okay okay i mean i mean i mean i mean i i would not recommend that anybody help you to 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 do this i think you go home yekaya and ask baba where's the altar sekai okay no he will he will allow you normally as as a as a father um and then and then you go you go on your own and then you 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 denounce yourself you you talk for yourself um, on your own, your own, on your own, on your own, okay. and and remember, you are talking to spirits. Aish. They hear you. Aish. Introduce yourself. Who you are. They know you. Aish. They know you. No, no. I'm here to say goodbye. Aish. I've got a new path. So, but even if somebody can come and do things on your behalf, the spirits are aware Aish. that no, no. But this one already has left us. He's not following Jesus. Aish. Aish. Let's learn to say. And when you do that, you establish a new pattern of what is in you. Mm. Mm. These are now patterns now. So when you denounce yourself, everything in you denounces, mm. right? Mm. So now your, your children that are going to come after you, they are now coming into an established new pattern. Asili, mm. man. Asili, asili. I, I always say that, you know, um, when, when the Israelites left, Egypt, after laboring for many, many years, build them cities. Mm. They've worked, you know, mm. and then they left uh, without saying goodbye. It was the order of God, obviously, and they left with the things, you know, of those they served. Okay? They left with the things of those they served. That's why those guys had to follow them. They're not running after them. They want their things. <laughs> and, and often these things you call spirits... Uh, they don't want you. <laughs> mm. Mm. You have left God. You you got our things. Uh, you you got to, you you have our name. Mm. Just just bring back that thing, and we will leave you alone. And you follow Jesus. And it is very key then. I mean, Ugote, before you denounce yourself from this altar, make sure that there's an altar you are submitted to. So, ma 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 you have to be announced. Somewhere else, mm. there's no vacuum in the spirit. So if I'm going to denounce myself from this altar, but you are not submitted anyway, uh, there's no altar you are you are servicing. There's no place where you are sacrificing. Mm. So you don't leave this altar. Unga na altar too. So make sure you the altar. Leaving the altar. Yes. Going to the altar. That's right. It's an altar for an altar, a sacrifice for a sacrifice. Mausugala, mm. this is the place where you are sacrificing for the best part of your life. Mm. When you leave this altar, make sure you see, you see, you see, Utu Elisha, Utu, Utu, let me go. Then I'll follow you. So I leave this altar, then I submit to, to, to this altar. Mm. You cannot leave an altar like higher, then you become a rebellion. In the, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean a rebel in the local church. But a kaya, you were you were you you were very submissive. You know, you go to every good Friday, you a kaya, you sacrifice. But in the church, you 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 do the opposite. You despise this altar, but then you have denounced yourself from this one. Say girl, you are limanak. Then you end up saying, No, this altar of the other land I save it. But the issue is you have dishonored this one that you believe is covering you. And Amanda, I mean, the power of an altar. It's only sacrifice. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So the day you the day the day Pumala Kuma no Baba, then you must be taken or go to an altar sacrifice of of your local church. You go and offer a sacrifice. Let the man of God, <laughs> let the man of God announce you that altar. Mm. You know uh, through your sacrifice. Mm. Hey, no, no, ah, no, no, it's not true. Hey, this is wrong doctrine. <coughs> hey, we are born again. Jesus is Jesus is the altar. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a so, joke. Bishop, mm. you um you mentioned something about life patterns. Yes. Yeah, life patterns. Mm. Uh, in regards with that, um, you mean that life patterns, mm. whatever decision that my parents did, mm. can they affect me as their child? Yeah. 
you know, I'm saying to you that we this is a Christian uh, podcast yes. or scriptures. Yes. So Genesis chapter two, chapter three. Mm. I mean, you and 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 I'm I'm paraphrasing now, yeah. and I'm saying to you, yeah. whatever your parents ate, you become. <laughs> you 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 are exactly <laughs> what they ate. And I mean, I mean, what they eat <laughs> in 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 all spheres, in all dimension, you become what your parents ate. And I mean that. Um, God gives an instruction to Adam, you know, uh, and to say, you know, you can eat all, but don't don't eat this. You know, the day you eat this thing, you shall surely die. That means in this first family of Adam and Eve, there was no death until they ate. Mm. So they ate death. That means they introduce a pattern of death in the family. But nobody died. Okay, so 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 they ate this thing, but nobody nobody's dying. They are still living. They are still they are still they are still okay. But I'm saying to you, whatever you eat, you produce, and whatever you produce is because of what you ate. So okay, so 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 okay. Now they 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 introduce death as a pattern of this first family. Uh, we can debate the issue of dying in the spirit, you know? <laughs> and then when they give birth to Cain, their boy, their boy was obliged to introduce what they ate in chapter two. So chapter three becomes the manifestation of chapter two. The pattern has to continue. And what they give birth to has to now manifest the pattern. You can blame Cain all you can, but Cain became faithful to download what his parents actually ate. Um, and, and, and that is the beauty of, of the book I wrote. Sure. You know, o Ukuti, we, we, we are just a manifestation of what our parents ate, our DNA, mm. our DNA, yes. I know time is always against, yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, I yeah. Bishop, you, 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 you owe us. We, we, we still have to come back. No, surely, surely, <laughs> no, surely we have to come back. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, no, <laughs> surely, lot. surely, 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 yes. But before that, Bishop, mm -hmm. um, um, we as Baabazalan, we always associate the Cassiok and then the Bishopric rings. Yes. I see that you are wearing one. Yes, I'm wearing one. I'm wearing one. <laughs> Beautiful one. <laughs> they, they is just jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> we we all, we all, we always associate them with mm. cult. With cult, yeah. Mm. Like Bishop, I, I I I think some of us and many of us we know this kind of phrases from mm. Catholics. Catholic, yes. Yeah. But it's, it's, now it's like we are adopting them now. Oh. Those <laughs> uh, they, they, they say, but these things, these things, we used to burn them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but that's also a lie. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit old now, Nguyen. Angi kumbuli as burning. I'm a we we Catholic. We burn, we burn. I'm um, attire which were called holy attires. That means they were they were they were sacred. These were holy attires. This were, uh, they were they were they were holy. A woman could not wash them and all that. Mm. We 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 burned those ones mm. um, because they were spiritual attires. Mm. They were very what spiritual. But mm. I'm a It's not spiritual that one. Just an attire. <laughs> you see, we we burned those ones because they had a connotation of spirituality. Sure. Right. It's a holy garment. Mm. So it castle. It's not a holy garment. Sure. My wife can wash it. <laughs> mm. You know. And and there's also a misconception of this Catholic and Roman Catholic. I wish we had time. A Catholic is not Roman Catholic. Okay. The word Catholic means universal. Okay. Yes. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and and Roman Catholic is something else. Oh. Yeah. Before Roman Catholic was, there was Catholic. Mm. Uh, well, that's a that's a topic for another day, mm. uh, but mm. but but People must study. Mm. They need to know. A Catholic simple means Google it. Catholic means what? Universal. Universal. So the Romans came, and 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 because there was nothing uh, probably you know new that they could actually adopt in 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 that time, they they took Ro the Catholic mm. and 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 call it Roman Catholic. So mm. it became a Roman Catholic. But in the beginning, Catholic was what was Catholic. Mm. Okay. Mm. 
back to your question um, uh, in terms of the the, the cassock that I wear um, they're very comfortable they they cover me I mean I'm worried these days man I <laughs> I the the church is too sexy Nego. yeah about you know these skinny jeans torn jeans and everything is hanging there mm. you know mm. Bo mama, hey, look, it's 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 tight dress. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, I mean, we, we must say these things. Uh, our 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 pulpits have become too sexy. Mm. Uh, they become very conducive to sexual immorality mm. and by this effect. Uh, but for me, Kasok covers me. I allow people to question my doctrine. <laughs> uh, but but I'm not so sure if you must question the comfort of my dress code based on the area of where I'm called. Ay, uh, you hear me? Ne? Ay, so I, I, I dress uh, based on the area of my calling because people look, uh, you know, in part, like Yakulum, mm. if you were sexy, you are saying something else also. Mm. So, so I, I prefer to wear something, a cassock that covers my entire body. Our country is governed by the Roman statutes, mm. by the way. Mm. So when, when I wear cassock, uh, which is, uh, you know, and, and I, I, I can relate to, to the, I mean, to, to what the government actually, in, in, you know, when I do things. Um, hence, hence my bishopric is more, you mm. know, on, on, on state matters. Mm. And the apostolic is more mm. on, on church matters. Mm. Mm. So both of them is accesses, if, if, you, if you hear what I'm saying. Yeah, so, Babagi, I, I allow the viewers, I allow you, Negu. <laughs> Uh, to question my doctrine. Um, Not your dress code. Uh, no, man. No, no. We 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 can we can debate, but uh, don't cut me off mm. based on what I'm wearing. Mm. Cut me off. If I say to you right now, uh, Christ Jesus is an angel. Ah, that's doctrine. Mm. You know, you you can you can you can cut me off. But mm. in part, I'm good in God. In part, I'm. I'm. I have. I. I look decent um, to the area of my call. Then you demonize me. I think that's a bit childish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I think I say, should he the 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 Cassiok, it's just a dress code. Which you would see maybe you are uh, respecting that kind of an event. Look, the the Cassiok does not make you more uh, powerful and more anointed. Mm. And that's that's a difference. In mm. those 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 clothes we bent, they were very spiritual. They they be able to they give you more leverage in the mm. spirit. Mm. Ikasok is not about that. Um, it's 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 symbolism. It 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 symbolizes. I love it. Yeah, it's a it's a shadow. That's that's quite deep also. <laughs> it, but but it symbolizes. You know, when I when I wear when I wear a black cassock, it speaks of a shepherd. Mm. You know, so it speaks of servanthood. Mm. So whenever, whenever, whenever I put a black cassock, I remind myself mm. I'm not a VVIP. Mm. I'm a shepherd. I am a servant. In other words, I can't behave like a celebrity while I'm wearing a a, a, a regalia, a cassock that speaks of seven wood. This are, this are symbolism. The same thing as, you know, as your, as your wedding ring. Mm. Your wedding ring is not your wedding. Mm. But when you look at the ring, okay, I've got a covenant. It's a reminder. It's a reminder. Yes, it's a reminder. <laughs> the same thing as a black cassock. I, I, I am dead to self. Eesh. I am a servant. I am a, I am a shepherd to the flock of Christ. Eesh. I can't behave like they are. I can't lord over them. Mm. That's, 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 that's the meaning. Mm. Now, if I begin to behave contrary to the symbol I'm putting, I'm putting on, then question me. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, you, you, you hear me. Yeah, then, 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 then basically question me. Yes. <laughs> yes. Bishop, uh, mm. well, we live in a time now yeah. whereby um, we are against the polygamy. I'm not saying it, maybe <laughs> we should not be against it. Yeah. But you find Utu Omunya is against the polygamy. He, he, will, he will preach against it. Yeah. But at the same time, <laughs> with a girlfriend, or you know, my girlfriend. Yeah. So what's your stand in the polygamy? Uh, I'm, I'm a counselor. Ne? I, I am a counselor. Um, and, and I meet men of God. I, I meet women of God. Mm. And by the way, strange enough, mm. which is my experience. Mm. 
um, my wife knows about this. Mm. It's most of the women who are against his team, they don't mind to become girlfriends. Yeah, this 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 I can tell you. This is a podcast, so we are we are, we are we are quite safe here. You and I know that most of the women who are against his team, most of them, and many of them, they don't mind to become girlfriends. Sure. Thinking as that don't don't make it official. <laughs> it 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 carries um, embarrassing connotation. Back to the question, yes, Tim. <laughs> the, the man you are looking at right now, the bishop, um, I am well raised, very well raised, um, you know, uh, um, in this team, I mean. mm. You know, I was raised that way. I became a man that I am today from that environment, mm. you know. But this is the thing. I always say I hold no opinion um, in terms of what God has said. When God speaks, I don't have an opinion. I'm just not so sure if some things are theological or, or probably, you know, the issue of morals and who defines morals. Mm. Yeah. Who, who, who defines morals? Who, who defines morality? You know, and these are questions we can, we can, we can engage to. Mm. Um, I believe also, Oguti, if you can't be faithful in monogamy, Monogamy, yeah, mm. Mm. you you mm. can you can manage this team. I think this team is more difficult than than a monogamy. Than yes, monogamy. yes, yeah, it's more difficult from from my observation. Um, let me give an example. We had a we had a debate mm. um, in our church. Um, no, within, within the bishop's council, okay. we 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 had a man. Mm. This man got born again, and he had five wives. And our time is gone. He had five wives and he had business and he had other things. So when he got born again, he, he said to us, he want to dedicate everything to the Lord. You know, he called us, we pray for his school, we pray for his business. We just give everything to God that he had. And then now he told us, he also want to dedicate his wives to the Lord. Mm. Yes, these are his wives. And they are five. Sure. He, he want to dedicate all of them to the Lord and you want us to marry him. The question is, which one do you marry? Oh. There, are, there, there are dynamics here, and um, and sadly is that our, our way of thinking is very much influenced by the West, which is often not necessarily scripture, mm. uh, but it's just the West. Mm. So so um, I would never recommend uh, Istanbul for, for, for the servant of God. Mm. Um, I don't think it's sinful. <laughs> I don't think it's and and this is this is my view. Uh, this is my view. I don't think it's sinful. Uh, I just think that whatever you do, that can cloud your message. Don't do it. But his time was not sinful. I you know I I've had debates, um, but I prefer to know truth to myself. Mm. I don't see um, God taking you to hell because. Of his temple, but I see God. It's very clear who who will be who will go to hell. Shit. It's clear, very very clear. Uh, but polygamists are not mentioned there. Shit. Adulterers, they are. Mm. Yeah, uh, you know, witches and liars, they are. Mm. You know. So my 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 personal and this is my personal opinion. Mm. Right. Yes. I will say to you, depending on the area of your call, and this very key term, Depending on the area of your call, there are things you must avoid doing because they will cloud your message. Mm. Not mm. because they will take mm. you to hell. Mm. Mm. There are clothes I can't wear, not mm. because they'll take me to hell, mm. because they cloud my message. Mm. They are, they are, they, I mean, I can't, me as a bishop, I can't open a tavern mm. and sell alcohol. Mm. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, because it will cloud my what? My judgment. I mean, my, I mean, my, my message. Your message. Mm. I am not so sure if selling alcohol is sinful, um, <laughs> you know. Uh, but as a bishop owning a tavern, and I preach against drinking, uh, that might cloud my message. So there are things I don't do. There are some transactions in business I don't do, not because they are sinful, mm. but because they will cloud Your message. my message, yes. Sure.
Yes. <laughs> I think I loved it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yes. Maybe you, maybe you have a, a, a different view. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Drop your comment. Yes. Let's hear from you. Yeah. Well, what's your view? Yeah. Uh, I think we'll have to organize a day and we talk about this specifically. Which one? Specifically. Business. Yeah. Yeah. The business. Yeah. <laughs> well, which one can you do? Which one you cannot yeah. do? Yeah. Can, can I work at, uh, at the brewery as, yes. a, as a man of God? Yes. Can I make it the tobacco industry as a man of God? Mm. Uh, yeah. No, no. It's, it's a... It's a uh, <laughs> oh, oh, Daniel, man. These guys were, were, were governors mm. of strange systems. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Joseph said, go and tell my father, that God has made me a father of Pharaoh. Eish. Pharaoh is a system. Eish. But he was a, he was a father of that system. Eish. So how can God make me a father of a system mm. that is antichrist? Mm. Um, how, 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 do, how do I become a governor in Babylon? This is, this is why sometimes I, I, I get angry when I see people cursing government. Daniel never cursed the government. He was a governor in Babylon. He was a gap. He 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 was he was in charge. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. So so even cult people will come and give him reports. You know, as a governor, you look at the reports and you know and sign them through if they are approved or not. You know, these things are deep. The the the, the, the time is an issue. Eesh. But now, <laughs> I believe one day we'll have time and 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 discuss it and things uh, to say. How do you behave as, as Christians in these spaces of business? Mm. Yes. Mm. Yo, yeah, Bishop, yes. I know that's too much. Yes. Bishop, I see you brought the book here. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the Genesis effect, the language of my scars. That's right, yes. What made you to write this book? Beautiful book, um, beautiful book. <laughs> <laughs> um, for you to understand <clears throat> my way of thinking, mm. uh, because thinking can be taught, yeah. um, it is to understand how I was raised. Mm. Um, I'm a bishop. I'm, I'm a man of God. I love God. I love Christ. Um, but but I understand my genesis, which becomes a pattern in some way, which I document in this book. Sure. So I am a <clears throat> I am a son of a great man and a great woman. Mm. But this is the thing when. When I was conceived, um, both my parents had their own spouses. Sure. But so they had to be unfaithful <laughs> to their spouses uh, for me to come. So unfaithfulness was, uh, for me, necessary sure. for my coming. So they had to commit adultery. Uh, to process my coming. For him to be born. Yes. So adultery, which was a sin, was a necessity for the prophetic time. Uh. So according to God, I had to be born in that year, in that season, and I had to be conceived. But adultery had to take place to produce a prophet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but 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 I am not what they did, but what they did was important for my coming. Yeah. So anybody who prayed that my mother and my father <clears throat> must must be holy and must be sexual pure would have sinned against God. Um, and you can think about that. No, go, let me say this this very slowly. Anybody who prayed that my father must be faithful to his wife and my mother be faithful to his own family would have sinned against time because that time I had to come. <laughs> the the, the sure. how part was none of my business. I had to. I had to come. No, I had to come. I had to come and that's how I came. And this become a pattern. Although I came that way, and not becoming that way, I dealt with patterns of my coming. Mm. And this book is about that. Sure. That that even though your coming, your coming was due, but how you came becomes a pattern. Mm. Mm. So you now deal with that. Mm. Uh, and systems are dealt 
with by systems. You have to know things, mm. to develop things, to deal with things. So, so many things happened um, that I never understood. I found myself uh, desiring things that I would not normally desire mm. until I get to a place where I then knew there's a pattern I'm dealing with here. Sure. What was made to process me has become part of who I am. And I had to make a choice to deal with that. And this book is the result of that process. Sure. Yes. How did it, how, how did it affect you um, being in that way, or especially <laughs> at, at, at a young age? In by the way, it, it's sad because now you deal with rejection. Um, because now this man is used by God to, to process you to come. But because he has his own moral you know, standards and values, he must, he must now reject your mother's pregnancy. Mm. That's what happened. Now rejection comes into being. And rejection is dangerous. Sure. Um, it followed me uh, for the better, but, a better part of my life. Mm. And I had to sit down and rethink, what is happening here? What, what is happening? And everything I put it on this book, I bring solutions. How to deal with rejection, uh, suicide, depression. Because how you come on earth mm. becomes part of you. Mm. Mm. Even though it's not you. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, look, Nego, this is controversial. Yeah. Um, um, adultery was, for me, necessary mm. to come. <laughs> uh, it, was, um, it, it, it was key. Mm. It, was, it was key. Um, yo, it was key. It, it was key. Sadly, that key became a pattern. Oh. I will have a desire of what was used to process me. Mm. But I have scriptures mm. to control what I should desire and what I should not desire. It was a battle. And um, I, I, I'm just saying to you guys, uh, get a book. Yo. <laughs> Every, everything is here how I managed to conquer some things. Um, but there are things in life you will never conquer. You learn to manage. Sure. Some things become thorns in your flesh, you know, um, mm. for the rest of your life. Mm. Uh, like it or not. Yeah, so, so, so you stay humble. So you stay humble. So there, there, are, there, are, some, there are some patterns that become thorns. They stick with you for the rest of your life. So you can remain humble and human. And yeah, sure. Mm. I, I, I feel that maybe there's someone mm. who, who who's going through what you went through. Yeah, and now you don't even know what to do to come yeah. out of that situation. Yes, there is any. What advice could you give to that person? The advice is in the book, Taban. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's in the, it, this book is self help. It, it's very I mean practical. It's very powerful. Sure. It's, it's going to help you to get to a place where I am right now, mm. a place of freedom, a place of, 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 of self-reliance. You, you are self-sustained, a place of zero self-condemnation. You, you know that there are things you, you, you by default, <laughs> you know, mm. struggle with. But the virtue of being born in a particular family, you struggle with some things. So, 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 so this book helps you to, to come out of that, pattern by developing new patterns you know for your life going forward is this your first book yeah this is my first book um published um, oh, i've got other books that i that i wrote but not published so this is the very first book that i've that i've published for for the global consumption and um, and so far it's going it's going very very well uh the the pre-order which i'm sure on the screen they will give you the number there yeah. and then you can just pre-order the book and then we we'll courier it um, to 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 your place. Yes. How much is the book? The book is two hundred and fifty. It's two fifty. Two fifty. Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, in rents. Okay. In yes, rents. Yes. Two fifty. Two five zero. It it it's it's very cheap for the content that 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 we have here. I have I have laid myself bare in the book to share, you know, the wisdom that I that I. 
that I gather, mm. you know, mm. over the years. Mm. That's right. Oh, there, there will be a number uh, for the pre pre orders. Yes. Yeah. And um, there, there is only launch. This is the launch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the launch. Yeah. We we we're making the book official um, yeah. to the viewers um, of Tabani, and uh, this is the launch. Yeah. It's a beautiful book. Uh, you will love it. You can buy as a gift to the schools. Uh, buy as a gift to your your partners, your children, and uh, let them enjoy the reading. Hmm. Yes. Oh, mm. it's, please make sure that you get this book. Yeah. And I I promise you that you'll get something out of this book. Yes. And as he has just mentioned, I I tried to ask him a question. Maybe if he can <laughs> <laughs> ask John Chele yeah. the content that is in yeah. the book. But yeah, he already already answered. Yeah. You know, the answer is in the book. Yes. So please make pre-orders. The number is on the screen. So okay, make sure that you get the book. Mm. It's 150 mm. and Korea excluded, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, Korea yeah. excluded. Yes. Uh, so yeah, get a book wherever you are. The book can be Korea to you. It's yes. your place and you get it and you read it and comfort of your home. Mm. So make sure that you get this book. Yes. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, but but no, that's, a, that's a question I feel I feel we should we should go back to. Yeah. Um, and and I think we should we should we should answer it. The the, the question of altars, mm. Um, mm. the name of Jesus, you know, um, because that's a that's a confusion, you know, to say it is finished. So Christ paid it all, you know. Mm. Uh, Jesus, you know, it, it's <laughs> but but you don't call the name of Jesus and become a graduate, isn't it? You you, you go to school. You go to school. Mm. You don't call the name of Jesus and and have a land, right? You you buy the land, right? Mm. I think our people needs to go back to some things, and 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 really ask questions. What can the name of Jesus do for me? Mm. Is there a place for the name of Jesus? Is there a place for altars in the New Testament church? Mm. That's a big question. Mm. Is there a place mm. for altars? Mm. Is there a place? for the name of Jesus in the New Testament church or the name of Jesus is enough. Mm. And I'm saying to you, before Calvary was, the land was. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Be, be, before, before, before Calvary was, the, the land was. The land was. And, and, and Calvary had nothing to do with the land, altars. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's why you don't call the name of Jesus <laughs> on the land issues. You... You can have Jesus and be landless. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, that is why those who came, some they, they give you Jesus and steal your land. Um, yeah, so so we, we have to know what manages the land. And and, and I'm, I'm saying to you, for you to get saved, Uche is enough. Don't, don't add anything. But to manage your life here on earth, there are things you get to know. And altars, altars, portals, gates, spheres, atmospheres. These are things we have to understand when we follow this Jesus. The Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Not for the absence of it. No, it's not. Uh, it's there, but we don't it's want there. it. We, but we, we don't access to it. Yes. No, no, I see phony. <laughs> I, I see phony because we, 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 we hate challenges. His people. My people, they perish. They are mine. Eh? Mm. They are mine, but they are perishing for lack of knowledge. Sure. Yeah. So, so, so these are things we, we, we need to begin to access and, and, and debate and talk about to help the church of Jesus Christ. Mm. Yes. Mm. Bishop, I think last year we, there was a high number of killing of pastors. Yes. Yeah, I think last year. More yes. especially here in Houting. Yes. Um, yo. Mm. I, I believe even Abazalane, they even develop the fear of attending an service. That's right. You know, because of things hey. that were happening. What, like, are we, are we as a church, are we not doing enough for the community? And like, what, 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 what could be done to avoid such? No, good. This question is its own podcast. Um, we have, we have gangs. In the body of Christ, we we have gangsters in the body of Christ, mm. and what I'm gonna say right now may sound very controversial. Mm. We never had people entering churches with guns the way they are doing right now. Sure. 
and I have made a research. This thing is so happy. When we had influx of foreign preachers in our country, to be specific, Nigerians, Ghanaians um, coming in our country, most of them came here um, looking for you know a quick quick progress, you know, and there was there was, there was a gang you know, murders operandi happening. Ugote, for me to grow up here, I must close this one. Mm. So, so these guys will engage gangsters, you know, to say, go and just do some threat. I saw now also in, in, in Unzalo, uh, that, oh, that yes. part. Yeah, that, that, that's real, that's real. Just go there and just, you know, you know, so that I can, I, I can grow. And this has never happened in our country. When 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 Abba Fundi is bang apparently because this happened in my own view, it, 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 it all from 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 that level, you know. They came and they thought, you know, I can't grow when this guy is here. Mm. I have to move him, mm. you know. And again, also the way of life of Abba Fundi is nowadays is not good. We we are lowering the standard. <laughs> How we live in the community, you know, we we have lowered the bar. It's so low. Mm. It's so low that the unbelievers see no difference, Ish. you know, with them, Ish. you know, you know. So how we how we are conducting ourselves, Ish. how the church has become a business. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with the church becoming a business. A church has many wings, mm. you know. One is spiritual, mm. one is admin, one is business, mm. you know. But but the the commercial business is not the core. Mm of the church. Mm. The church is a spiritual home. But if business becomes the core of the business, then you have problems. It's, it's, it's quite concerning. And therefore, in Gauteng uh, especially, I will recommend that pastors must get security, improve your security, get cameras, uh, get bodyguards if, if you can, you know, uh, to secure your buildings. You know, common sense, <laughs> it's, it's also very important. <laughs> yes. But, well, it's, it's very concerning that, 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 that now the church has become a scary place. So mm. it's not wrong even for the pastor to be armed. To, to be what? Armed. Like if to I be armed. Mm. Oh. No, no, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. I've got insurance. Yeah. Yeah, um, I've got insurance. I've, I've, got, I've got butlers in my, in, in my house. Yeah. So it's safety. It's safety. Mm. If I can have insurance, why can't, why can't I be armed? But imagine having 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 a gun while preaching. It, it's a heavy weight. So l let let the church invest in systems, invest uh, in, in building their own security companies. You know, um, for me, that's what I recommend. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But yo, I, I just love what you are saying, Bishop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More especially, no. Last year it was uh, even more painful. Mm. Even for Abazalwane, they could not go to church freely yeah. as they used to. Yeah. Uh, things were upside down, you know. Mm. Yeah, it was so scary. Mm. Well, especially, I can't even recall exactly, exactly that incident where the guys just came during the service and mm. then they pointed the pastor was preaching at yes. that time. Yes. And they took everything. So imagine the trauma for Abazalwane. I'm sure some of them who were there, maybe they could not even come. Not true. I mean, now there's a syndicate in Pretoria. I think they just enter the church. They they take the rings only, mm. your wedding rings. You know, it it is it is very bad. It is very hectic. So, but also again, um, it it gets to show that the moral decay in our community has reached a very alarming rate. It's it's very bad. Mm. People don't fear God anymore, mm. and I guess also because of the we have removed God mm. from schools. Mm. We remove the Bible from schools, but we have the Bibles in prison. <laughs> Aish. Aish. You know, uh, but in schools, rem re remove them. Uh, you know, it, it's a problem. We we have we have chased God away from our communities. You know, and also now the church, the church must rise up. Um, we we must we must take our place as the voice in the community as a as, as a voice that we used to be. You know. And also, I think politics are involved in churches today. Yeah. You know, yeah. we, we are only used during during elections. You know, after elections, bye-bye. Um, 
you know, <laughs> Baba, it's over. So we, we have to stand up. And I, and I believe that Abafundis must now be involved in politics. Hmm. They are first of the land. Uh, for me, I think that is very, very key. I will hijack you on this one. Yeah. Uh, it's always my concern. Mm. Why here in South Africa, most of the servants of God, we find that they are mentored and fathered outside the country. But in, 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 in Africa, mm. you won't find or hear any of the men of God who is fathered here in South Africa. Yeah, well, no, good. this one is a thorny issue for me. It's a thorny issue for me. Uh, <laughs> uh, I call this plastic fathering. Please. Yeah. You, <laughs> you, you, you can't have a father that you can access. Mm. The Bible says, I'll raise a prophet amongst, amongst your people. Um, mm. I think this is a joke. Uh, this is a joke. I, I don't believe you can have a father you can touch, access. Hey. A mentor you can have. Um, for me, is that most of these guys came into our country, they saw this money, you know, and and our people are impatient, they want power there and there, and they, they end up submitting under strange power. And most of them, these young, this young guys who are submitting elsewhere, when things are tough, mm. they call mm. us. Mm. Mm. You got a father, but he can't bury you. Aish. You got a father, but he can't marry you. You got a father... He, 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 he doesn't even know you, but you know him. Uh, for me, it must be a relationship, not, not a transaction. Eish. Yeah, but what we have right now, it's, it's transactions. It's EFT relationship. It's not a heart-to-heart -heart relationship. Uh, it's like, a, you know, it's stock failure. You know, the, the more you have under you, the more, the more you grow. We, we must stop these things. We have fathers in this country. We have fathers in this land. Mm. We have great fathers in this, mm. in this country. Mm. You know, let's own our own. The problem is our country is suffering from dishonor syndrome. Mm. Siakula. Mm. O siakula. Eish. Anything ours, as it mm. Siakula. <laughs> yes, no. I know of it. It's cut. It's It's but by the way, I hope that you would see Kukono Koshilela in the episode yet. And I'm flanging what for it will be Bishop Kelly. Bishop Kelly, your last words uh, before we let you go. To the viewers of Tabani, uh, Lamini, may God bless you. I want to encourage you. There, are, they, 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 there is so much good that is coming mm. in this country, in this land. Don't, don't, don't kill yourself. Mm. Don't relocate. Mm. Love God. Love yourself. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. God bless you. And your 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 initials, I mean, I mean your your socials. How people get involved? Um, it's Kelly Tedu. Uh, okay. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> I'm on on Facebook. No yeah. Twitter. No X. No. Yeah, but it's Kelly Mashudu Tedu Munzo. Okay. Yes. You, you on Facebook? Yeah, on Facebook. Yes. Oh, I'm Lama No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's on. I'm <laughs> <laughs> yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. I uh, hope that you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to drop your comment and make sure that you follow us uh, on, on, on our social media platforms. Tina Sinao, Bishop Follow us on Facebook, Tawan ST Lamini, and YouTube, Yobus Bonalana, Tawan ST Media, TikTok, Tawan underscore ST. Uh, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget, on the 19th of October, we are launching the Media House here at Zolani at Joe Bank. So you guys are all invited. Whatever support that you can give up to us, we'll appreciate it. It could be anything. Guys, you're all invited. Post I got pull me as Kaki Piluto, but Sisa Magangelo Lusu. There is this day, 19 October, a Joe Beck and Malven is a Penduka. See, case that you'll be called, Cape Town, you'll be called. Kuning, we are launching this media house, Yabazalani. Yeah, I hope to see you there. Other than that, see you next week, same place, Riaz now. God bless you.